Good morning, Pisces. What's popping? Pisces, thank you for all the love you and support that you give me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you to pieces, Pisces. I just hope I can do these readings short. But I don't know what it is going on, Pisces. Um, also, send out prayers to my girl Susan. Susan, I'm sending you prayers, love. I love you to pieces, and I hope that everything is um, reaching the prayers um, or reaching the universe um, for your husband and you and your family. I love you to pieces, and may God continue to bless you on your way home and on the way to a recovery. Okay? Ooh. Okay, so... If anybody knows Susan reads tarot, she does not do any private readings, but she's, uh, I love her to pieces. So send out Susan um, prayers from you to Pisces Studio. I'm sending Susan prayers. May all hands go up to Susan. Familiar Witches Tarot, if you're watching me. And you don't know Susan, please, I don't care if you don't know or if you've never seen her, send her prayers. She reads tarot, and she's very special to me, all right? Like I said, I don't care if you've never seen her before. I'm asking you to send prayers. Namaste, Susan. I love you, girl. God is with you and your husband all the way back home. My prayers are with you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay? For all those who go onto my web and purchase any one of my items, Pisces, we're going through a major transformation right here. And today, you will enter this major transformation. I don't know about you, but I have not been able to sleep at all. My mind is working, and I don't know. God is talking to me, and I don't know what it is. But um, today is the day, and then you'll be reminded of just how powerful the mind can be. Pisces, as Mars and Pluto align this morning, use this energy to focus on what you hope to manifest and knowledge how your, how your attitude, patterns, and willpower can dramatically impact your immediately environment. Meanwhile, the moon continues in its journey through our signs, okay, forming a support connection with Taurus, the sun, the middle of the day. That, that's ensuring to elevate your thoughts and your commu communication skills. Remember that the voice can be a powerful tool. Speak your dreams into assisting whenever the opportunity arises. Reconnect with your boundaries and public image. When Luna and Saturn Unite later today. There's a lot of things going on, Pisces. Remember, Pisces, it's a powerful time in your life. Very powerful. And when I tell you it's powerful, it is powerful. All right? It doesn't matter what religion you are. It's like the universe keeps showing me Religion, a form of religion, you're going to be seeing there is a form of religion that everything is happening. It's a religion 
thing here, Pisces, and it is very serious. And you're going to see a lot of people, presidents, speaking on this matter. You're going to see a lot of people burning Bibles. Right? The truth is revealing itself right in front of us. All right? You don't know who to believe anymore and what is going on. The most powerful people in the world and these big vanities, these churches, huge impact on religion is a war here that's going on and it's literally all over. Big powerful people are talking about it. I'm not talking about like me. No, we're talking about presidents or mics speaking about the man himself and what they think and who he is. What he looks like. The man himself. What he looks like. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm living for it. Pisces, I don't know what this calling is. But I'm not sitting back. It's not letting me sleep. It keeps talking to me. God is talking constantly to me. Stay awake. Stay awake, he says. I don't know if you can sleep. I don't know what's going on with you. <coughs> but stay awake, he says to me. Believe me when I tell you. <coughs> it's out of my control to stay awake. I can't control it. Pisces, if anybody go to my webpage, I change a lot of things in my webpage and I am focused on my candles, my evil eye jewelry, my salt bath, my herb baths, and also my stones and crystal. And that is what I'm focusing on. And that's what I live by. My salt bath, my, my, uh, Bread red dust, the walnut, work on your shadow, my oils, Pisces, my candles, and this is exactly how it is, my candles. Can't rush nothing to be made. Whatever you think, Pisces, whatever it is, right? Just like it's good, it's bad. You're seeing it. People want to know the truth. They want to know. They want to know. Who am I sending my money to? Why am I paying the bills for somebody else? I can't even pay my own bills. People want to know. They standing for their rights. On our own land. I don't own anything here. Do you understand? Nothing. Do I own? I'm standing here. I don't own nothing. But our younger generations are fighting for our generations that are coming up. Because they want to know. I pay for my education. But where are you sending my money to? Come on now. Wake up, people. This is the Abundant Prosperity Wealth Fertility Candle. Can't nobody love you like you. Self-love will save you every time because it's about you. Don't live this world, honey. You better live your life in that spiritual game. The justice card, the justice candle, it is just what it says. Justice, right? Justice. <laughs> And justice will speak for itself. All right? Uh, my mother, when my mother was alive, my mother used to always say, 
it's funny how they all say what's going to happen. But it won't be in my time. I won't be here. And she said it. And everything she said was the truth. It won't be in her time, but she won't be here. She said it. So, Pisces, um, what I am telling you is that All right, well, I guess that's what it means. God says, I confide in you. And that's what he said. He confines in me. And I confide in him. Yes, I do. For all my heart. All right, Pisces. Everybody knows how I get down. I get down with the universe. And that's all I know. I don't know nothing. I know human things going on. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But, um, Pisces, don't forget, do them rituals. That new moon is getting ready to pop off. And know that what you speak is powerful. And it's, and it's representing Taurus going into Scorpio. A lot of changes. A lot of endings of ways how we think and changes. I just want you to know that anything can pop off. Anything. So be mindful of what you say and how you say it. A lot of things that happen deep in your dreams. So you better pay close attention to what is popping off in your dreams. Because it's letting you know something here. It's letting you know a lot. You got to pay attention to your dreams. And sometimes it happens where it's in front of you and you just got to put it together. And people don't understand that. You know, God tries to think, do things to you where you can see it. But we live so much in... In this world that we don't even recognize when God is telling you something. It's like, I, I don't know, but people got to get their life together. I don't know what to say. People are living so weird, weird life. And, oh, this is happening. It's in your face, honey. God ain't, he's trying to get your attention. Whether it's in, in, in did, you, did you see it or it's in your dreams. But watch every move you make on what you say because it's going to affect what is going on around you and what's in front of you. All right. It says, um, roses, flowers, plus, um, it says a gift, charm, joy, happiness. All right. Um, blue, bouquet, number nine. All right. Look at that infinity. It's coming in, in, in a mail. It's, it's trying to tell you something here. The number nine. And it says a ship. Number three. Travel. Vehicles. Movement. Journey. Change. Direction. Change directions. It's, it's a journey. It's a change. It's flowers. It's somebody going on a journey. And the waters may look like they are stormy. But it's like you're sailing. It's something here that's about movement. I keep telling y'all, it's a transformation. It's, it's things are coming, but it seems like it's very cloudy. What is going on? You don't, what is it? It says clover, luck, gamble, and opportunity, change, hope, small, happiness. All right? This is not like a long time. This is like happening, and you got to catch it while it's there. And what fell with it is the riders. Somebody's carrying packages. Somebody getting some kind of package. It says, um, um, passion, speed, action, news, message, energy. It's something here that's moving, okay? Something here is moving. I don't know if somebody's going to receive a package. I don't know, but it's some type of movement. It keeps saying it. You got to ship. You got twice flowers, bouquet. Um, you got some luck here. Whatever it is, Pisces, 
There's a movement. Let me tell you the numbers. And I'm not lying. It says going this way. One, two, three, nine. It's not going one, two, three, nine. It's going back. One, two, three, nine. So whatever that means to you is something it is it's in a move, but it's it's like given to you. But it's telling you that you need to act on it because it's not something that's staying, but it's saying some traveling or something here that's a vehicle, a journey, a change, a, a distance, okay? Come on, Pisces, you need to listen to this opportunity. Um, This is like lucky gambling or opportunities. Change again, hope, self a self-happiness, a small self-happiness. All of this is like a quick move, quick change in your life. It says energy, passion, speed, action, news, message. This thing is coming fast. All right? It keeps saying fast. But it's you got to get it while you get it. I don't know what it is, but I see it. And it keeps saying it. It's like something is being given to you, all right? And it's coming to you like a luck, like in a form of a luck, okay? Now, this is the card I picked. It says, Lord uh, uh, Dominic breathing, Lord uh, Dominic breathing. We tend to breathe with our lungs and chest this way of breathing doesn't allow a full breath of air into our bodies. All right? Those. Put your hands on your chest and breathe with your lungs. Now, pull your hands on your lower abdominal and breathe in with your abdominal. Notice that Notice the difference now, breathing with your um, abdominal for eight minutes. If you feel a tightness, relax more into each breath. Deep breathing relaxes the body and the in increase of oxygen release the mind. And that's what it says, namaste, okay? So it's trying to tell you, it's the way that you breathe, and it might be something with your breathing, where it's probably telling me, you know, you got to change your breathing, all right? Pisces, I'm going to say it again, be careful what comes out of your mouth. Taurus, is, it's aligning now, honey. A lot of things happening this month. All right, Spirit, talk to me. The two of cup, the two of cup, it is a choice. The two of cup means a union, right? A partnership. It may be in a relationship. It may be at work. It may be something working together with you, right? The two of cups is emotions, right? Then you got the two of pinnacles. Emotions and pinnacles, what you feel, what you can feel with your hands, right? Decisions, all right? A lot of decision here, bringing balance, spiritual, and also the world. Something here needs to be balanced between how you feel, right? What is it that you feel? What is it that you touch? Right? Because this is about, yes, it's a lot of emotions here. Yes, it's choices. But you got to bring balance within how much are you doing, how much you put into this, and how much you put into that. You got to have balance here. How much you put into your beliefs, into the church, or whatever it is that you believe in. How much time do you take, um, to put in, to pray in, or to whatever it is that you um, do. And how much time do you put into to your work, all right? Because it, it, you need to balance how you feel, how you do this, and how you do that. Into two worlds. Into 
the physical world and the spiritual world. Something there needs to be balanced between two. All right? Tell me more. Because you got the two of pentacles and the two of cups straight forward. Look at this. The ten of wands. Pisces. Whatever it is, Pisces, is telling you that these wands are heavy. And it's showing that you're doing a lot of work. Right? You can a lot. But let me tell you something, Pisces. All of these wands that you can, you just can't throw it all down at one time. Each of these wands be coming, will be coming off of you. Right? And it takes time for you to um, take these wands off of you. Nothing is going to happen overnight. All right? Nothing. You can't drop the wands. It's not like you're dropping everything. You got to drop them and, and move and learn from what you're dropping. What is this weight that you want to get rid of? Right? Because you got, you got 10 of them. And that's a lot on you. But it says somehow you might be doing too much of one and not enough of another. Maybe you're doing too much work, but not in your spirituality. you putting um, your spirituality last and you don't put it first. Okay? It says something about a union um, and about bringing balance into, it's almost like, it's trying to say that you let the world or whatever you're doing in this world to take you off what you believe in. It's like you're not balancing it, right? And you put too much weight on this on this real world rather than putting the trust into God, okay? Um, the six of wands is like feeling like I've been caring a lot, right? And um, maybe you feel like this, whatever you're doing, the work that you're doing, what you can, it's like people are seeing, acknowledging your work. Maybe you're doing too much. They're acknowledging it. But it's like you're doing too much. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with the same sex. I don't know what it is. All right? I don't know whatever it is. But I feel like one person is caring more than another. All right? You got the five of pentacles. It's like somebody's doing all of this, but somebody... Whoever's doing all this work, I feel like whoever's doing all of this work is seems like somebody is parading someone, or well, I don't know if it's you or they parading someone else. All right, but one person is doing all this work while somebody else is being acknowledged. Maybe they're acknowledged for the work that you do, right? Or maybe this person is putting, you putting too much on yourself. And maybe you feel like they're not acknowledging you for everything that you do. Right? You feel like you've been left out or whatever it is that you're working so much on. Right? It says the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like something is not moving here. But... Maybe you feel like you're being left out. Like, you just, things are just being still. They're not moving. I just feel like it's hard for you to make it in between or to score something or to win something. Like, you feel like you're being left out of this. Does someone here feel like they're being left out and they're doing too much work but not being acknowledged for everything that they do? I feel like you feel like somebody, it feels like whatever they're going through, it's like this, this night of pinnacles, it's like every day, like your money is not moving or something here is just sitting still, right? 
but it's asking you to, to acknowledge. It's asking you to take action, but I don't feel like you feel like something is taking action. You feel like everything is being still and you're being left out of something. It, I feel like you feel like you're not being acknowledged for what you're doing, the work that you put in. Um, it's like, I don't know, maybe you, maybe you care, but again, the two of pentacles, something here needs to be balanced and it's not. Some, it's like something is throwing you off. You're allowing something to throw you off. Okay. You, you feel like you just can't get through this burial. Or it's something like it's telling you it's there, but you still ain't seeing it. It's like you're putting the work in it, but you're not seeing the outcome of whatever it is that you're putting all the work into. I don't feel like you, you feel like you've been acknowledged for the work that you do. I feel like you feel like you've been left out and the things just ain't moving the way you want it to move. Whether it's a relationship or your job, this is how you're feeling. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Um, the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups. This is this, what you want in a relationship. The Ten of Cups is this happiness, this union, this marriage. Um, but whatever it is, Pisces, I just see what all of this is going on. You got two cats here. Um, you got a baby that's crying, but no one is acknowledging this baby. It seems like it's a fight going on. It's like a child is not being acknowledged. There's a, like a two cats fighting, but it's someone moving on with a marriage with the two of cups. Uh, somebody is a child here that is not being acknowledged. Like this ten of cup is, it's like somebody got married or somebody's in a union and not acknowledge this child on, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know if, Something here is leaving a child and fight and moving on. But it's, maybe it's not with you. Maybe you feel like this person is with someone else, but not even taking responsibility of a child. It's like a fight going on and somebody just moved on and got married. Or moved on with someone. Someone seemed like they, they upset that someone is not acknowledging a child. It's like somebody wants this ten of cup, but it's, it just seemed like something is being left out. And I don't know if it's you being left out of this relationship, a child, or somebody got married on you. But it's something that looks to me like you're not invited or you was left out of it. What is with this two of, somebody feel like they're being left out of a child. Tell me more. Tell me more about this two of pentacles. Why is this two of pentacles here? It, it, it's like they serving something. They're about to burn something because they're too busy looking at somebody. Right? Somebody, nine of swords. I'm going to say it again. It's like somebody is, the two of pinnacles is like somebody's too busy watching something they can't bring balance into their life because it's got to do with a relationship and a ten of cup and maybe somebody left you, divorced you, don't, I don't know, something about a child that feels like they left out. It's like a fight going on. 
The two of pinnacle means like somebody is not even paying attention to what they're doing, burning the food, but they got a cake on one hand and burning the other. Whatever it is, somebody's cloudy, travel, vehicle, movement, a journey, a change, a distance. I don't know if somebody live at a distance. Somebody's going through not knowing. All right? Somebody's stressing over this. Somebody can't sleep. Somebody is stressing. Somebody's having anxiety over this. It's like somebody can't be bound, can't bring they Somebody's letting something throw them off. All right? They worry too much about somebody... I don't know about a past relationship or somebody that they not no longer with. Maybe this person's with a new family. But somebody is too busy looking at them that they can't balance their life and their spirituality and they're stressing over it. With this ten of wands and <coughs> the six of wands, somebody feel left out. Somebody feel like nothing is moving. They feel like this, whatever it is, is stopping their growth. Somebody has to get the strength to deal with this. All right? Somebody's got to tame themselves. It's like somebody is stressing over someone that's moved on. Maybe they're in a new relationship. Maybe they feel left out. Like, you can't seem to bring balance into this, doing two things. Somebody feel like they can a lot. It's like you being in knowledge, or maybe they're not showing you off, but it feels like you feel like you're being left out of something here. And something is not moving. Something just sitting there with the pinnacles. Um, the strength card means that maybe you're more into nature, into animals than humans. But it's something here that's got to be tamed in you or the situation that you allow them to control you. It's something here that you can't do nothing about something, but you always seem to think about this. I don't know if somebody, like I said, left you for someone, got married, or formed a new family with somebody. You're not a part of it. Somebody ain't happy. Ten. Ten of cups. Justice. Somebody's going to court. I don't know. It's about a marriage. It's like, like somebody just moved on and left somebody. Somebody's going to court. Somebody's arguing over divorce. About, I don't know, child. Di I don't know. Something. I don't know. Somebody's going to court here. For a, a marriage, child support, something with custody. I don't know. But I feel like somebody got married, don't even acknowledge their responsibilities. Somebody don't care. All right, tell me more. It's like somebody here is stressing over this. All right? Tell me more. The world. Somebody live in two different worlds. Two different families. Two different relationships. All right? It's like somebody got to end something. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like... Two different, I don't know what it is, but I know it's two different families. I see animal. I see animals here. Somebody is, somebody stressing. Somebody is stressing like crazy here. Some, I don't know if somebody's having a problem with vehicles, somebody's traveling. Of some type of movement, journey, change, distance. Somebody's at a distance, but somebody cannot take it. Stressing over this, stressing over. It's an ending there, but it's it's between two different whole relationships. Somebody is stressed out over this. This world is like an ending to something, and somebody is stressing over an ending, but it's. Somebody's living 
two different worlds, two different things going on. But it's an ending, and I mean an ending to this. It seems like it's a world, it's the justice, and then the ending. This is major. Tell me more, spirits. What is going on here? I don't know. It's somebody ending something for good. It's like, I don't know. It seems like somebody got two different things going on. The sun. Honey, let me tell you something. The strain. Somebody is. Somebody, it's like somebody got pictures. Somebody taking pictures. Somebody, whatever it is, you going, you got, you got proof. It's like you got proof. It's like you know. It's like the world, the sun, it's something movement here. It's a lot of movement. A lot of movement's going on with this. Whatever it is, Pisces, it's Leo showing up all in your reading, but something here. And you got major arcanas at the end. You got justice. Bringing balance. Equal right. The truth is coming out about ending something. It's got to end for something to begin. You got the sun here. It's something has to come to an end. Something is done with. It, honey. It's something here that's. I don't know. It's like somebody here is um, delays, negative mindset, self-doubt, a lack of confidence, the need to turn out a negative mindset and, and, and to find an inspiration. It's something it is somebody. It's, I don't know. It's somebody taking pictures of something here. Somebody is. I don't know, it's like somebody's a photographer, somebody's taking pictures of something that's ending. Somebody's thinking, I don't know, whatever it is. I see court, the world, and the sun. And I'm trying to tell you something. Something is making a movement and it's not stopping. The world is not stopping. The sun does not stop. Okay? Something here that's not fairly or not treated right has to come out right. Justice has to be served. There has to be an ending for a new beginning. Is someone going through a major transformation? It's almost like you're seeing pictures or you're taking pictures. It's something here that no matter which way that sun move, you're following it. It's something it is this is. It's something, it is someone is getting some type of news, some type of mail, some type of text. Something here, it's like something here feels like, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it feels like somebody feels like they, something here is not, it's a lot going on and it feels like someone here feels like something is just not moving, something is not fair, something is not um, gaining this, whatever it is that you got to gain, it feels like everything is on hold, but it's something needs to be dealt with, it's something needs to be an ending to, it's something needs to move to a whole nother level, I feel like after all of this, the sun is going to come out, but it's a lot of evidence, it's a lot of picture taking. Something here has a lot of evidence. Something that you know that to be true is something that you're going to. It's time to, it's like you've been left out of something. Somebody feel like they've been left out. Somebody feel like their money is not moving or a plan is not moving. Whatever plan that you want to move, it's like it's, you feel like it's not. Somebody here plans is not moving. Somebody's money's not moving. Someone needs to move out of a situation. Somebody is, I don't know, somebody's showing off somebody or somebody got, I don't know, something it feels like, like everything is on hold. Everything. But things have to change. 
It's telling you to be strong through this. It's telling you that at the end of this, things will move on. Definitely move on. You will see the sun. But you got to go through a transformation to get there. And it's not easy. Because something here needs to be tied up. Something here needs to be done with. Like finish with. Not when I mean finish with, never looking back at it again. I don't know if it's like I don't know if somebody's tired of seeing someone parade somebody around or showing off somebody, not caring about what they left behind. Like somebody's going through hardships. But Pisces is telling you that if somebody is stressing like hell about somebody, it's like somebody has two different families or going or like they moved on and left you. Like they don't even care. I don't know, Pisces. Whatever it is, please, Pisces, I pray for you. Whatever it is that you're going through, Pisces, I pray. I pray that you can be humble and that you can go through whatever it is um, with this calmness. And I want you to know that whatever it is that you're going through, Pisces, um, this too shall pass. But it's a process that you got to go through before you can see the sun. But it's, it's movements going along. It's things that you want to receive. Paperwork. Something here with paper. Packaging. Moving. It's something here that it's, it's in a move. It's in the making. But it's sitting still at the same time. It's like you're doing too much. It's like you. Somebody just leaving you out of this money. I don't know what it is, Pisces. But whatever it is, it's got you stressed. If you need a read and get it from me or someone else, Pisces, don't stress this hard. All right? Some things are meant to be the way they are. But believe in me, the universe is going to bring karma to the situation. All right? Balance got to be made. All right? People can't take advantage of people. And you may think it's hard times, but they will get served. The situation will unfold. And you're going to see it. All right? If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else, Pisces. I'm sending you nothing but blessings and love. Namaste. Bye-bye.